This is a replacement SCSI fuse for the MPC-2000. It looks different than the original SCSI fuse, but it works just the same. This is the part number from DigiKey. Take a screenshot. If you were trying to boot up a SCSI to SD or Zulu SCSI drive on your MPC-2000 and the light doesn't come on like this one in the video and go straight to booting up the OS, it means your SCSI fuse is bad and you need to replace it with one of these. Here's how to do it. To take off the top panel, remove the two large screws on each side of the MPC's case. Then remove the three black screws along the back edge. To remove the front bezel screws, there's one on the left of the floppy drive, one in the middle, and one on the end. Then you can remove the bezel and take out the three bottom screws for the top panel. Make sure you pull off your slider cap. To remove the button panel, take out the two side screws, the two middle screws, and the opposite two side screws. These screws can be left in since they hold the PCB to the metal panel. Then the panel comes out all at once, like this. Undo the ribbon cable and set the panel aside. Once you have the panel off, locate the SCSI fuse. It's right behind the SCSI port and labeled FS1. Yo, look at all that dust. What the fuck? To complete the repair, you need some desoldering tools as well as soldering tools. I think I got this set from Harbor Freight for less than $10. The fuse itself is only two pins and really easy to install. You'll need to take out the main board and unplug the floppy and power cable. Don't overheat the soldering gun or you can ruin your PCB. Be gentle and make sure the tip is tinned and watch some videos on soldering if it's new to you. This is a good first soldering project for a piece of gear. I'll have these fuses up in the shop and I'll be giving them out with any Zulu SCSI drive purchase. Boot this can chill, make more beats.